Hi everyone, I'm Nick Olivo, and today we're going to see how to make hidden rolls in Roll20. This allows your players to make a check, but does not allow them to see the results of that check, so you as the GM are the only one who knows whether they passed or failed. Note that because we're using the API, a pro account will be required in order to do this. Before we dive in, I'd just like to thank Roll20 for sponsoring this video. So think back to the last time your rogue said, I want to check the door for traps, and then proceeded to roll a nat 1 on their investigation check. Now, rules as written, a nat 1 on a skill check doesn't guarantee failure, but it pretty heavily implies it. And now the rest of the table knows that the rogue failed that skill check too, and that can lead to them changing their behavior. They may try to dogpile on the skill check. Oh, hey, I have proficiency in investigation too. Can I check the door for traps? Or they may say, hey, I'm going to move my character to the other end of the hall before you open the door in case something blows up. When they wouldn't have done those things if they had seen the rogue roll an 18. So what this script lets you do is have a player make a check that only you know the result of. So let's see how to set it up and how it works. So first and foremost, credit to this script's authors. This script was initially written by Stephen S. and was then modified by the Aaron. And then I took this code and I made a few tweaks to it and put it in this GitHub page here. And I'll put a link to this down in the description. So thank you, Stephen S. and the Aaron for building this script. And I just made a couple of tweaks. I am standing on the shoulders of giants as far as this goes. So what you want to do is come out to this page, click on the raw button here, and then we're just going to control A to select everything, control C to copy it. And then I'm going to go into my game's settings page here. I'm going to go to new script. We're going to call this hidden role and then paste in the code. Then we'll save the script. Our sandbox will restart. And now we're ready to use the script in our game. So now what we're going to do is create a macro with this one line in it, exclamation point hidden checks. That's the command to actually make the roll. And as you can see over here on the right, I've already created that macro. I called it hidden checks. It's that one command, exclamation point, hidden checks. But scroll down and make sure that you make the macro visible to all players and that you show it as a token action. And so what this allows your players to do now is select their token. And now they're going to have this hidden check button that they can click on to send the hidden roll to you. So now let's see this in action. In this window right here, I'm logged in as a player. And in the window in the background, I'm logged in as a GM. So as my player, I can click on my token, click the hidden check button. And now as the player, I get this message saying that a hidden role has been made and it's been sent to the GM. I'm sure it's fine. But the DM gets this massive block whispered to them. So let's break this down. The first thing we want to talk about are these two numbers right here. These are the raw rolls that were made. And like many things with roll 20, we've rolled twice, once for advantage and once for disadvantage. So you have both those scenarios covered depending upon the circumstances that your player is encountering. And then we take those two die rolls and apply them to every possible saving throw and skill check that the character can make. So we rolled an 11 and a nine, so we apply that 11 and 9 to the athletics check, the acrobatics check, the animal handling check, and right down the line so that you don't need to maintain different macros for different types of checks. You can just say, hey, give me a hidden check, and then no matter what type of check you need, you've got the result there waiting for you. Now, for completeness sake, the script does also provide another command called open checks. And the difference between open checks and hidden checks is open check is visible to the players. So you click that button and the results are available to both the player and the DM. Personally, I don't see as much of a use for this. I would just have the player make the check off of their character sheet as normal. But again, for completeness sake, I wanted to include it. Now, the thing about a script like this is it does require a good deal of trust between the DM and the players. So you may want to speak with your players about implementing hidden checks before you do so, especially because the script does not give you a way to share those results with the players once they've been rolled. 
But what you can do is enable chat timestamps in your game and then screenshot the results that came in from the hidden check script. And that way, if a player fails a check at a critical moment and is frustrated and wants proof that they failed, you can give that to them. So let's see how we can do that. So what you want to do is go to the cog in the top right, go into text chat options and click enable chat timestamps. And then when you're in the chat page and your player makes that check, we now have a timestamp saying that this role was made at 1125. I can take a screenshot of that and then share it with my players so that they know I'm playing above board with these hidden checks. Now, one last piece of advice with this script, and that is it should be used sparingly, not every single check your players make should be made in secret. It's going to be pretty obvious in the game world if your dwarf failed their athletics check to knock a goblin prone, or if your cleric failed a dexterity check to not fall into the pit trap. But for other types of checks where it's not as obvious, like searching for traps with the investigation skill, or trying to resist being possessed or charmed with a wisdom save, or if you want to be really hardcore, death saves, then this script can really help amp up the tension and make for some very memorable moments. But as with many things, a little bit goes a long way. So there you have it. That's how you can use the hidden check script to make secret roles in Roll20. I just want to give another quick shout out of thanks to the Aaron and Stephen S for writing the script. And I'd also like to give a shout out of thanks to all my patrons as well. Thank you so much for all your support. It really does mean a lot to me. And thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing. And until next time, folks, have a great day.